Shalom and welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally. Thank you for joining us and hope the this series of the one another commands has really helped you to examine your personal relationships and work on them according to scripture. Today the one another command we are going to be focusing on is serve one another. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 As each one has received a gift minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. The best relationships are those where people serve one another. Instead of fighting to get one's own way, if the person were to look at the interests of the other, how wonderful relationships would turn out to be. Peter in the scripture urges us to minister to one another according to our God-given gifts. Serving means to wait on one another, to attend to one another's interests or needs as if it were your own, to minister to one another as if you were doing to yourself. This kind of service is sacrificial. It is and if you want to be a better relator of people you will need to serve others daily serving others is the ultimate sacrifice it means you're laying down your life or your interest for the sake of someone else we understand that serving is also a choice we can choose to be selfish or we can choose to serve if you're the one who is choosing to serve you look at small ways simple ways of how you can do those ordinary acts of kindness you will do it actually for no reason for no payback or for nothing in return you do it because you know that it glorifies god now serving can be in different forms it could be physically of support to one another like for example in a home in a family where everyone helps and pitches in with work serving one another or doing tasks or running errands for neighbors or elderly you're serving one another serving could be emotionally where you are lending a ear listening to somebody bearing burdens joining with someone as they grieve and as they weep encouraging them to continue with hope during times of adversity and serving could also be spiritually where one is there to encourage to pray to pray through the word to to bless one another to learn the word together to bring hope into their hearts we see the greatest example as jesus as an example of service He explained and he we say we read that in Matthew 20 28 he didn't come to earth to be served but to serve and give his life for us Jesus the son of god as he walked through this earth we see the way that he served he led by serving he loved by serving he washed feet he fed a thousands he healed he blessed he spent time with the with the sinners we see the way that he served to be a servant means to genuinely care for one another and this becomes such an important marker of good relationships who are you called to serve today let's do that following the example of jesus let's pray together heavenly father thank you for the example of being one who served father thank you that you have shown us the way how we ought to bless to serve one another keeping the needs and the lives of other in priority teach us to step down teach us lord to focus on the needs of others more than ourselves thank you because you equip us to do so in accordance to your will in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.